What's up guys, this is the Brofman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Russia. So to kind of run off happened last time, we have successfully pushed into the Persian interior and intend on maintaining that pressure. So let's... yes, I do want to build an army board here because I'll probably want to keep building armies to push south into into Persia. Um, so this army is going to, yeah, this army is going to stay here in case this stack decides to either go north or south. This army is, pr ooh, they could engage the stack actually. Now let them get some replenishment in. I'd like to knock these, so knock these troops, knock these stacks out before then pushing on to take um, Zahedan. This stack up the north will go on and attack uh, Kabul. And then once I capture these towns, I will fortify them because I will anticipate um, stacks and stacks and stacks of um, Marathan troops. Also importantly, would be the need to recruit some more naval ships in this area to at least try to fend off the Marathan navy trying to drop stacks into my rear areas. Like it would not be beyond, beyond the realm of possibility from drop to land in Basra and then capture Baghdad from behind. Good, their army is finishing completion. Actually, yep, I do. Oh, that's my. This is my raiding force that I'm beginning to recruit. Now I'm just give them a regular general's bodyguard. So this is a rear echelon general raiding person. And well, it looks if like I need an army board to increase my units in recruitment per turn. And I'm fairly sure I've tried to. Not accepting peace, but that's okay. I'd like to think, like, if France has the... Oh, I'm at war with France. But either way, I'm, I would like Britain to be a bit more at war with the other regions, with the other nations in this part of the world. To help with my efforts. Um, yeah. Right, so research and tech. It's going on okay. You probably shouldn't bother wasting your time researching that. Am I building a navy building? Not yet. So that's priority for next turn. Replenish of whatever little money I have. Same with here with this army, but keep wandering south. So that's a solid Swedish stack. So maybe fall back actually to get some more replenishment in and let's hit end turn. Bonus one stack is pretty optimistic. I'm not trying to attack. Um Yes. Um I'm not trying to capture Sweden. I just want to push back their armies from raiding in Finland and the easiest way to do this is to take a position near a Stockholm and engage them earlier on. Rightio, so... Prussia's being Prussia. Hold on, there we go. Prussia's being Prussia but isn't on my border so it isn't a problem. Basically I just want to hold here expand rapidly into India and gain all that material wealth and then just push out stacks and stacks and stacks of Russian troops and then just flood across Europe like the uh, Cold War Russian plans of your Let's see, Let's see what oh, Persia is going to be the one. Ah, I forgot Persia has Rome but by the looks of it they're at war with someone else in Rome. So maybe I don't know, maybe whoever captures Rome. And we'll try to capture the Asia. Oh, good missionary. Building plantations here You're will increase probably your fine. Export capacity, improving income through so they've got a bit of um, Islam, however, it's not destabilizing, whereas in Baghdad. Oh, Baghdad is going down. Still, let's keep this guy aggressively pushing into... That and he is very good. Gunnery school, ordnance board. Okay, let's take you. Let's 
bring them down. So let's do some economic upgradings first. Mines, roads, fisheries. Good, good, good. May as well upgrade this to have the money. Aha! Kilns, fishery, and Palestine. Let's make sure I'm taxing people. This is the thing. It's easy to roll forward and keep exempting regions from tax temporarily to keep them happy. Um, but once they are happy, tax them. Sure, it means it slows down their growth, but, you know, that money's more useful. Buried in vitriol. Ooh, another chap who's not nearly as good. You go down to Persia. So this army, you just continue to push on to Kabul, I suppose. Let's advance this army down. Let's engage one of them. Ah, drawing them in as a reserve army. Let's do it. Unfortunately, it will push them. So I don't have to. I become. It becomes less of a problem. Um, them trying to not be able to move very far at all on the flat ground. Let one battery, artillery battery, escape because that will slow down their campaign movement. Whereas if I kill them, then it will speed up. So it'll just be infantry and cavalry. This looks like a wonderful spot for some artillery. However, it might be tricky to actually capture. But let's try it. So these troops will go ahead, capture the ridge in order for my guns to roll up. Or at least the majority of my guns to roll up. One other battery will maintain its position on the left. Probably a bit closer in. Let's have them spread here. This infantry on the right. Militia and reserve. Good. Managed to scare those lancers off. Fundamentally, I wanted a bit more of a flank. Oh, there you go, they're charging. So actually, I want these guys to slowly redeploy further out. Maybe even a shade more aggressively than that.
shift them along. Firstly, let's fix everyone. Move them a bit closer along so they can support the cavalry, the um, artillery a bit better. You, limber. Limber and limber. Nice commanding artillery position. So here, here comes the reinforcing troops. They actually are of range all the way back there. Nope, they are within range. So I'll set one of my batteries just to sit there and pound that other formation. Horse. These are the um, bow-mounted horses. Poor swines. Look at these guys. Cast a shot. Blast them. Okay, let's keep one formation. Let's keep one battery engaging their, cav their artillery at all times. Preferably my sakers. Yeah, that's the best. Some hillmen. They're about to be returned to fire by the Cossacks. The 25th Regiment of Foot. Again, other musket lines have, in have hit each other. firing rapidly. Good. Force the retreat. Switch back to round shot and just keep firing at incoming troops. Here come some goddamn elephants. Here come some bowmen. Get ready to hit those elephants. Target rich environment, that's for sure. Let's fall back a bit. See if sort of square formation does against elephants. Probably not much. Oh, well, I'm sorry, I'm gonna sneeze in a minute. Oh, sorry for that, guys. Okay. It's freaked them out, and they're being shot in the back by their own guys. Let's 
Let's try and actually attack them, see if that does any difference. Someone 287, 284, 283. Mm, might actually work. The trade is one unit of my. One unit of Cossacks to kill their general, that's quite good. Infantry into the fight, and I want to try rescue that unit of unit of Cossacks while I trust them. Um, I would like to. I feel more comfortable throwing my guards into the mix. Is a ravering. Oh, wavering. Yeah, you're being. You're not doing anything useful back here. Pull back, pull back, pull back. Oh, why fall back? I should go straight into him. Should chew him up. Particularly with my guards in support. Cossacks are wavering because they're getting shot in the rear by these guys, so... Let's just run my guards here. And then let's spin these guys there. My, these set of guns up here is a reinforcement set. Balance my line. Let these guys get their volleys off. Then one last volley. And fall back. Overwhelming firepower is going to win the day here. Well, 
you will not be able to put up that level of fire for very long. Let's have them do round shot against that unit. Have them do round shot against this charging unit of horsemen. Shots being put forward by my musketeers. I wish I had more cavalry to properly take advantage of my just dominance of their line infantry, but can't have everything. Swing this, swing this wing back to take so I don't get flanked by these Keziblibishi musketeers. Against that unit, have these guys to come shot against that unit. This just shows this quality of elite infantry. Even when they're being shot to ribbons, they don't care. Same with these guys, really. Start off 300, and they got 107 in this still on the field. Got to fire quick lime shells. Holy moly. So I'm not maximizing firepower of the layout of some of these units, but I can deal with those inefficiencies. Fire onto the twentieth altar. Well, no, Hillman are charging forward. Maybe they've run out of ammunition. God, if these guys reload in time. Ooh. Another volley into the Hillman. Final volley at point blank range. Routing. Okay, let's pivot the unit. Well, that's a bit of a weird deployment. Many, many Persians have died during this battle. All to the betterment of the Russian Empire. There we go. Now this unit on the flank should be in a good position to fire onto the other units. Once they reload, with their good reloading skill, 23. Where's this unit of Cossacks? This unit of Cossacks has been here since the start. Must have done the 16th Regiment. Experience 5. Holy moly. It's going to be awkward in a, in a moment, or soon, when I start running out of... Uh, Ammunition with some of my troops. It's my general. Let's deploy my general. All fire round shot at this unit because they're the only one that's actually remaining. 
Well, there's this unit, but they will definitely get chewed up. So let's not do that. Let's to get them all fire at that unit right there. So let's scoot around this unit that's coming back. Devastating artillery strikes. Well, let's just do a bit of this now, I guess. Hold the artillery fire and instead just get my units to chase them down individually. Do a little bit of speeding up time because ultimately this battle is this battle is over a last measure of defiance nope they've been engaged before they had the chance Even know if I'm gonna. Well, I'm not even gonna continue it because it was just such a one-sided fight. Although it does mean I need more. I do need more cavalry in my anti-Indian armies. Let's see, look at that! Boom. So it does mean they will raid me more. If anything, it does mean this army probably has to move back towards Persia. Pretty ricky tick. But they're pretty knackered as it is. Call the radio, let's hit and turn. So I was in one army. The army that's coming back from Baghdad, they will chase down one of those raiding forces. The Baghdad garrison will hoover up any fragments that are left. The army to the north will push to Afghanistan, the army to the south will push to their next settlement. Uh, that's kind of what you've got to do in this game. Sometimes, they, even though you think they would hate you and never want to trade with you in a million years, but yet they still manage to find, you know, the numbers manage to tick over in a reasonable manner. Ooh, Polish are laying siege to... Alexandria. Hmm. It's Sweden, you'll not stop me now. Hmm. I presume they've swapped, they've traded over the most the highest strength units over to the full stack. At least that would be the one that made the thing that makes sense. No. Hmm. There is a port in this region that has not yet Orthodox been developed. Missionary. Select so let's preemptively start sending you will help your population forward grow. to them. A trade port will provide an income. 
Yeah, why not have a commercial basin? <laughs> God, Cairo better be worthy. I mean, there's all this money I'm pouring into it. As one. Is that down here? It is. You will also be an industrial building. Good, right. See you. Keep on going. This army will keep on going. This army will come up to the north. This raiding army will come along and chew on, chew up this piece. Oh yeah, it's an army of dervishes. Mentioned in dispatches and steady under fire. Ooh, another missionary. Let's get you back into Istanbul. Day is to engage the forces again. However, looking at the time, I think it's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.